Yo, what's going on, guys? This is Adrian here, back with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to show you the best features of Mi UI 9. So, without wasting any further more time, let's jump right into the video. So, with Mi UI 9, you get a new theme called Limitless. It brings in new icons and other new stuff with a clean look. So the first feature is multiple selection. With the help of multiple selection, you can select many apps at once and transfer it to an other home screen, which comes in quite handy and it's super simple. In the multitasking menu, when you swipe down on any app, it gets locked. So when you clear all the apps in the background, the app that you have logged will continue in the background. So the most awaited feature is multi window and it is finally here with MIUI 9 and it comes in really very handy when you want to do two tasks at once. After the update the fingerprint scanner has improved a lot cause in MIUI 8 the fingerprint recognition used to fail most of the times and after the update it kinda never fails. Even the camera and the performance of the phone has improved quite a bit. The phone feels way faster than before and the animations have also been improved in MIUI 9. Another feature is that when you press the volume button, you get an option of silent mode and DND. You can also select for how long you want it to be on. So for those who didn't know the Android version of MIUI 9, it's running on NuGet. And the security patch is of July 2017, which is the latest one. So now you can double tap the multitasking button to go to the previous app thanks to Android 7.0. So in the settings under battery, you get a new option of scenarios, which helps in getting better battery life with the help of machine learning. So the version of MIUI 9 I'm using is the global beta ROM which is out for the Redmi Note 4X, that's the Snapdragon 625 variant and for the Mi 6. There's also an other version which is only for China and that version has some more features compared to the global one. So if you want to flash this ROM, I'll leave links for the full guide in the description below. Even though it's a beta version, this ROM kinda doesn't have any bugs and is quite stable so even you can try flashing it. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.